How's it going guys? I'm Hanson with the Deliberation Room and today we're going to jump into how much Captain Price's loadout would cost in real life. Let's go. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and jump into it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and discuss uh, this in a few different categories. We're going to go with the belt, the vest, the head, and the clothing. Um, now, a disclaimer here before we get started. These items were made by a video game company. Some of them very closely resemble a legitimate product, while others I had to get as close as I could. Now, also that being said, if you see me say something and you know of a more similar match, throw it down in the comments. Let me know. Uh, I kind of want to get this as precise as we can because I think that would be awesome. Um, so the first thing we're going to start with is the belt. So let's go. I'm going to go ahead and give you a kind of wrap all the way around of him. The front, right side, rear, nope, left side. And back to front. So the first thing I'm going to do is talk about what's called the battle belt. That's this big belt on the outside. There would be an inner belt. I can't see anything about it, really, from any angle. So let's just assume it's just a normal black inner belt that you could pick up from a regular store like 511 or something like that. So closest we can get, or that I could get for the battle belt, is this right here. This is on... Um, Army Surplus World. Uh, this is the Condor Tactical Molly Padded Generation 2 Battle Belt. Um, the reason I say I can get this is as close as I can get is the main thing is there's two lines of Molly right here, uh, which is a differentiating factor between these, um, the type of buckle, things like that. Um, so that's how I'm going to be able to get as close as I can to this outer battle belt. Um, and that belt through them is going to cost about $20.95. Alright, so the next thing we're going to look at on the right side of Price's Battle Belt are these two holsters. Um, at first glance, they look like pistol magazines, but from certain angles, you can actually tell that these are like see, um, little flashbangs. Um, so, closest I was able to get with that is this right here. This is the CTS Tactical Mini Flashbang Diversion Device. Uh, it was sold by HB, um, HurricaneButterfly.net. Now, <laughs> this product, along with a lot of other ones you're going to see, are restricted to law enforcement members only and obviously government agencies. Um, so unfortunately, you're not going to be able to get your hand on all these, but we're looking at what a legitimate setup would cost, um, not just you know what you could get your hands on. Um, so yeah, uh, he's got two of these strapped to him on his right side, so they're going to cost 40 to $5 each. Alright, so you got these flashbangs, and now you need a place to hold them. So we're going to look at some pouches for flashbangs. Now, um, once again, this is going to be one of those things that they're going to take you know, creative liberties with when they're designing this stuff, but we can get as close as we can. And that's looking like this. This is armyuniverse.com. And they have Black Military Double Pistol Mag Molly Pouch. This is going to set up on the battle belt. And it'll hold your flashbangs. It even has the little eyelet down there and the Velcro with the strap over top. Just like his does. Alright, so the next thing we're going to take a look at on Price's loadout is his holster uh, for his pistol. Which obviously he's not carrying right now because that's not the loadout I have strapped on. Um, but it's... Honestly, this is something that I don't think they really modeled after anything that I can find. There's no, you know, retention system in this holster that I can see. Um, so obviously it looks like something they just made. Uh, but if you wanted to get kinda close, you could just go on Safari Land. They're a pretty good website. I'm pretty renowned for their um, holster making, especially for like law enforcement and things like that. And they have a good number of holsters. Uh, this doesn't fit the SIG P320 that he carries, compact that he carries in the execution video, but this is kind of as close as we can get. All right, back side of the battle belt, we obviously have nothing. Let's see, we're gonna stretch around here. This right here, um, there's no indication as to what's in this. Absolutely none. So I kind of just have to go off of what I can assume. 
Um, and because I don't see it anywhere else on his person and it wouldn't make sense not to have it, I'm going to assume this is an IFAC or an individual first aid kit of some sort. Now, I don't know the contents of the bag. However, I did find a pouch that gets pretty close. And that's this bag right here. Um, I'll go over it in a second, but the pouch wraps over the top and that was the main thing I was looking for. There is a buckle. Um, but you could pull that buckle off and it'd be pretty much exactly the same. This could be tucked down in there for all we know. Um, and it could be strapped into that Molly battle belt if need be. And this is going to run you about $62.95. Um, and I believe this even comes with some stuff inside. Uh, maybe not. Actually, let's see. Yeah, medical products not included. So you have to fill that. Uh, and you'd have things in there like a chest seal, maybe an extra tourniquet, uh, different things like that. So like I said, $62.95. All right, moving right on over to the left, we have right here a just a sheath knife. Um, this is another thing that I don't believe is a legitimate product. It's another, let's take some liberties in design. So kind of just had to get as close as I could. And as close as I could get right here, the Gerber Strong Arm comes in Coyote Brown. I have seen where you can get it in black. Um... The knife isn't spot on at all, um, but the main thing I'm looking at that gets me more close to it is the single snap on top and the sheath type. Uh, this blade looks to be give or take six-ish inches. Um, the Gerber strong arm, I believe, comes in around five. Um, like I said, not far, not close, but it's kind of got a somewhat similar sheath and the single snap on top. Alrighty, moving right on to the left, we have right here. These are just two um, pouches for magazines for his sidearm, which <laughs> he's not carrying. Um, so, like I said, in the execution that he does, it looks like he's carrying a SIG P320 compact um, tan. So, we would look for some pouches that would resemble that magazine style. And for those pouches, we're going to be going on to armyuniverse.com. And this is Black Military Double Pistol Mag Molly Pouch. Uh, they're available for $10.99. Um, that comes with both of these. So I figured that was pretty close similarity. It's even got the uh, water drain here, the Velcro with the single strap. And these are going to cost you, like I said, around $10.99. Alright, moving on to the vest, which as far as like the vest itself, I can get just about spot on. Um, go ahead and let y'all take a look at it all the way around. You see he's got, right when he gets into the light in this room, you can see, you might even see it better on this side, yeah, right here. These three straps with kind of mesh in between them. Um, it's kind of flat on the back. Carry handle. A pretty generic vest. Um, but this little admin pocket was the hard thing to get down. Uh, but thank you to some folks on Reddit. I found it. It's the... Um, Armatus 2 plate carrier uh, made by LBX. Um, this thing is spot on, dead ringer. That's what this thing is. Uh, it's even got the buckle here that you can see on him right there. Um, this thing is spot on. Uh, it pulls off, and that's how it, you, know, you put the thing on. It's got, well, if I can get this pulled up can't see him he's got him tucked in the back but there's some straps that would go over top of these magazines uh, and in the story mode he wears the same exact vest um, and in the story mode he has them over the magazine um, just go check that out um, but yeah spot on spot on so moving on the play carrier does already come with these three magazine uh, slots for the rifle but we do have to source these right here and these are the pouches for the pistol magazines now these could be something else what i think he more than likely did is just routed these straps down the back and just put some of these up here um can't be 100 percent sure if you wanted to get something different you could go with these which is the um pistol taco um they work really well uh you could go with these made by high speed gear they come in black um, but if, if it were my guess, I'm assuming he probably just, it looks like you can even see where it's thick right here, where he kind of strapped it down. But that's what I'm going to assume, and that's what I'm going to go with, so I'm just going to add the cost of these to those. 
Okay, so we're going our way around the vest. We're on the right side now. These two right here, these are also pistol pouches, uh, pistol magazine pouches. Because um, right when you turn them, <laughs> it's such a pain. I wish you could move them how you needed to. Um, as you move him, you can barely see the outline of a pistol magazine <laughs> as he turns. So that's how I'm guessing that. Um, now, right to the right of that, this right here, this is obviously a tourniquet. He also has another one up here. Um, and we are sourcing our tourniquets through CAT Tourniquet. And this is the North American Rescue Combat Application Tourniquet, or CAT Tourniquet. No, thank you. I appreciate the offer. <laughs> um, but yeah, these, these are... Uh, kind of the go-to for tourniquets uh, pretty much in the US um, but this is what I, I'm gonna assume he's using as well so two of these coming out to uh, give or take 50 bucks okay so another thing we gotta look at now I'm gonna turn him clockwise if you're looking down at him so look quick it's gonna be up here on his back right shoulder ready and go right here that is a strobe. <laughs> uh, it's like an IR strobe so that he can be seen by um, whoever his evac is. So let's go ahead and source that. Okay, this little guy is at a, the bananas price of $167.65. This is the VIP infrared signal light made by a Tactical Night Vision Company. Keep that brand in mind. We'll be back to them later. <laughs> um, so yeah, they're the ones who make this. Like I said, it's a pretty much just a strobe so that they're able to be seen when evac is coming in. Pretty self-explanatory. Okay, moving on to what is the biggest pain in the butt about this loadout and sourcing everything. And to be honest, I do not think that I have this right. Um, so I'm 100% looking for recommendations on this segment. Um, if you have any or what you think this might be, this setup might consist of or might the layout might be. However, let's jump into it. It's his communications. Um, so right here, this looks like a radio. And that would make sense because you have channels on a radio that you can switch around. And it would make sense that he's switching the channels right here. But there's also this back here, which is the exact same thing. Um, and it's got cables all attached to it. Uh, one of those cables even leading to this antenna strapped on his back. Um, now, what I'm going to assume is that he has two radios that are the same exact thing. One is a spare in case the mission goes bad. That's what I'm going to guess. Am I wrong? Probably. But that's what I'm going to go with because they look so similar. Um, and, go ahead and forewarn you, these products are... They don't even look much close to what they ha what he has set up here but it's what i'm gonna say it probably is so let's go okay so the first thing we're going to look at is the radios um or radio and some other apparatus i'm going to say it's two radios these are about the same length um they've got the channel indicator here um they can be shortened so this is what I'm going to say it is. Uh, like I said, it's probably wrong, but it's what I'm going with. It's the Astro Saber 3 Motorola. Yeah. Uh, and these are going on this website. This is eBay. Um, but this is for about $169. And we're going to say he's getting two of them. All right. So this right here, uh, this is what I'm assuming is like a push to talk type setup. Um, a PTT. So... This all routes into his radios, and we'll also go ahead and cover this antenna while we're over on the web. Uh, so let's jump back up. I guess this is the closest I could get to a PTT. Um, this comes with the whole kit, the whole sets up to the radio and everything. Uh, this is the actual unit. Uh, this is like as close as I could get um, to his, like the shape and the dimensions and everything. And this thing is going for a whopping $600. <laughs> So this is adding up very fast, but let's keep going. All right, as far as the antenna, I'm going to go with the BF Tech NA771A 15.6 inch dual band antenna, 144, 430 megahertz SMA female high gain handheld antenna. Whew. Yeah, that's what we're going to go with. 14 bucks. Who knows? Okay, so now that we got this nonsense out of the way, now, you're going to say, but Hanson, you, you missed something, and you'd be right. 
As I turn him this way, I want you to look very closely right behind the gun. Ready? 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 There it is. There it is. See it? Right here. Climbing carabiner. Let's source it. All right, for the carabiner, we're going to, since it does probably need to be climbing grade, uh, we are going to look for a legitimate climbing grade carabiner. Uh, this is through Mountain Shop, MTN Shop, uh, if you're curious. This is the Kong Extra Large Carbon Steel Twist Lock Carabiner because you can see a twist on the carabiner that he has. Um, had a different loadout earlier, but you could see a little bit better, um, but it does have a twist on it. So that's the closest we can get, and it's coming in at $24. Alrighty, so let's see. We're going to go ahead and talk about a few more things on the torso area um, right here on his vest. Uh, this is this little black thing and this flag. This is obviously the Union Jack. Um, we can find that pretty cheap on Amazon. I'll show you in a second. And this is a called an IR tag. Uh, this is used for things like NVGs. They can look at their partner see that little square and know that that's probably a friend not a foe uh he does have one on his back but it's on his helmet and no sneaking we're gonna cover helmets in a second i know you're i know you're curious hold tight all right so this is kel kylak kylak kelik i'm gonna say kelik um, this is their website. They sell these IR tools, friend or foe, one inch square IR glow tape, three pack. So you get a three pack and you're almost done with your whole kit. Um, these come in at $9.95. And now we're looking at the Union Jack, uh, the British Union Jack embroidered patch with flag UK, Great Britain, iron on, so on emblem. Now, you can also get hook and loop right here. Uh, this comes in at about five ninety five. Now I know what you're wondering, man. That does not look like that. Reason being is because his is dirty. Um, you could find probably find one that's nasty like that too. Um, but you know, if you're really into this and you're gonna spend all this money, which you can probably see up here somewhere, because I'm gonna edit it to do that because I'm a good guy. Um, if you're spending all that money, then you're probably gonna be legitimately using this legitimate things um, or you just have too much money to spend so you're probably gonna get this dirty through your actions or you could throw it on the shoulder because it's got a clean one cleaner one yeah so let's move on okay so we're gonna do clothing now that's right I'm saving the helmet I know it's killing you but we're gonna get there we're gonna get there just hold your horsies so let's go ahead and get with boots okay keep in mind when we're looking at boots Obviously, his are going to be far more worn in, um, look more rustic than the brand new ones. But these are what I'm going to go with. Um, go ahead and show you why. If I turn him over this way, i got to zoom out a little bit. You can see that kind of design. You have this middle piece, you have a back piece, a front piece that comes back up, and a middle piece. This boot does that pretty well. Um, you've got the front piece that comes back up here, the middle piece, and the back piece. Um, his shoes don't look to be leather. It looks more of like a fabric-y kind of thing. They could be leather. I could be mistaken. But if they are kind of a leather, this is kind of close as I can get. All right, so next thing we're going to look at in this whole thing we're doing is the gloves here. Um, this is another thing that I think they took some you know creative liberties with, uh, but I did get pretty close. And this is it right here. Go to militaryfirst.com, and you're going to see MFH protect tactical fingerless gloves od green the gloves in the picture look a little more green than black uh maybe it'll show up different on y'all's screen but for me it looks a little more on the green side so that's why i went ahead and got the green one um let's see then we're gonna just gonna go ahead and move up the arm we'll go ahead and hit the shirt uh let's see we'll jump over all right so for the shirt this is about as close as i could get uh this is something i think they totally did on their own um can't find specifically what it is um uh, but this has the you know, the kind of tight arms right here and um, the patch on the sides. So it's pretty close, um, about as close as I can get it. Alrighty, so after that, we'll go ahead and move on to, let's see, right here, right here. Uh, this neck scarf balaclava kind of thing. Um, I don't think it's part of the shirt. Um, it, I don't see any lines that make me think it's part of the shirt. I think it's its own separate thing. 
Uh, let's see. So I was able to find something semi close. Um, we're just going to go with this because it's a little bit more of a gray color. Uh, this is the uh, bamboo UV neck and face covering. Um, and I think that's really all he would use it for would be a covering of sorts if, you know, he got into a dusty environment or if helicopter's about to touch down, anything like that. All right. So you're, you can miss it right here. Um, you can barely see it. Let's see if he moves a little bit. Yeah, right there. That's a chem light. Um, it looks to be a red colored chem light, um, or purple. If you could find purple, that might do too. Um, but I'm going to say that that's red. So I was able to find just some standard red chem lights. All right. So also, uh, this tourniquet right here is being held in a case or a pouch. Uh, the other gun I had, you can tell that it is a hard case. Um, and from the best I can tell, it's one similar to this by um galls well not galls but 11 10 gen 7 cat rigid tq case uh they have several colors yeah they even have some old basket weave stuff um but it just looks like a standard black from what i can tell all right so over here you can see there is a united kingdom special forces patch now i've looked this up uh you can get them um the only thing that's different is it says I'll tell you what, I'll just go ahead and show y'all. So this is the patch. Um, it says Special Air Service, not Special Forces. Um, and it says United Kingdom Special Forces, Special Air Service. So I don't know how these are in circulation on eBay. Um, I wouldn't wear them into public. I believe this is their actual um, patch. Never wear a unit's patch that you never served for. Never do it. Um, even for like a, you know, cosplay airsoft kind of thing. Just to show some respect, don't do it. Um, but, you know, if he were to get this, uh, this is what it would cost whatever unit he was with or agency or whatnot. All right, and we already covered the patch that's over here. Um, just, you know, I don't think we need to hit that again. Just a little difference in color. All right, so we're going to get into the part that I know all of you have been waiting for. <laughs> uh, the helmet, and it's a doozy. Uh, one to source and two to pay for. Um, so we'll go ahead and start with, well, if I can get around there, we'll go ahead and start with the rear. Actually, we'll go ahead and start on the inside and go out. So we're going to start with the helmet itself. Okay, so as far as similarity um, to the helmet, as far as that goes, um, he has this helmet cover. Um, so technically, just this would need to be black, but I'm assuming the rest of his helmet is also black. So this is what I'm going with. This is the Opscore Fast Helmet High Cut Helmet XP. Uh, this goes for a whopping um, 1,506 to 1,643. Actually, let's go ahead and pick our options here. Assume he has a medium size head. Um, I don't know. I think I'm not sure which one of those it would be. So yeah, 1,601 dollars. <laughs> That's insane. Alright, so go ahead and bump out from the helmet itself. We have the helmet cover. Um, this is something that, obviously, they just took some um, creative liberties with. Um, so let's go ahead and find that. Okay, I know it doesn't look that great, honestly, but it is the closest I could find. Um, and to be honest with you, I'm not even sure if they have it in black. Um, I just tried to get as close as I possibly could, and this is pretty close to that style that they have up here. Um, it's about as close as I can get. Go ahead and show you the other side, get a more realistic, let's see. So we got that, and then that. So, about as close as I can get it, right? Okay, so we got the helmet, we got the cover. Um, move out right quick, we're gonna jump into his headset. Um, this is another one that, you know, it's not the specific type, but it's close. All right, so this is it right here, the 3M Pelter Comtac 4 Hybrid Communication Headset Dual Com Flexi Boom Mic MT, yep, 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 Coyote Brown 1 EA case. Now, obviously, you'd want to get this in black, um, which they do make it in black. I just can't find one right now. Um, but yeah, you get this in black, and it's, all, it's a whopping $719. <laughs> it's getting ridiculous. Um, it's getting wild, but let's go. Let's keep going. So, he also has right here this battery pack for the NVGs, and it kind of wraps up. And we'll go ahead and hit this right here as well. So, let's jump back over. 
Okay, so this is the uh, battery pack uh, closest I could get. Um, and I think I did a pretty good job. It's not too far off. The only thing is like the little IR tag should be right here. Um, but other than that, it is pretty damn close. Um, now as far as these bungee cords, they are holding the MS-2000. And that helmet is holding the ACR MS-2000 M3990, as close as I can tell. Um, then what this is, it's just like a strobe that goes on top of the helmet so people can see you. Um, and right now it's on sale, but we're going to go with the not on sale price because we're going to assume worst case situation. Um, and he's coming in at $169. Uh, let's see, we got another uh, Union Jack patch. We're just going to kind of throw that on the total, uh, same as this one over here. Let's see, over here, we got an O positive patch. Let's find that. That's right, we did it all the way down to the O positive patch. Blood type infrared patch. Simple. 12 bucks. Not bad. Alright, I believe we have finally arrived at the moment you've all been waiting for. And that's these beautiful puppies on top of his head. Look at that. Would you look at that? Those look beautiful. Okay. Let's go ahead and look at the price of those. So we're going to jump into the NVGs. There's a few more things we have to look at around the NVGs. First is the mount that goes onto the helmet. Uh, what I'm talking about is this piece right here. Now, it looks a little bit different, but obviously that's just going to be because of Creative Liberty um, that they took. Um, so yeah, this is the Wilcox L4 G24 mount. It's going to be able to hold the NVGs that we're going to look at in a second. It is $462 for this piece of metal to hold these puppies on your head. Um, once you see the price tag of these NVGs, though, that price tag will make sense. All right, you need to power the thing, obviously, right? That makes sense. Uh, so this is the L3 Harris battery power supply cable um, for the NVGs. If we scroll all the way down, it's uh, $350 to $427. He's an elite soldier, so we're going to assume he's on the high end of that scale. So we're going to save $427. All right. The moment you've all been waiting for. The NVGs. Now, the NVGs in the game, um, they are not the actual style of the NVGs. Um, they don't look exactly the same. But the ones that these are thought of after are these. The ground, panoramic, night vision goggle with GPMG, white phosphor. Uh, this is by EOTech. I know th this company does make them TNVC. However, unfortunately, they don't display their prices because it's one of those you must be law enforcement in order to have this. Um, law enforcement or military, and you have to have certain credentials in order to even see the price. But EOTech, they don't give a crap. So they're putting their price right there. 38000 five hundred and ninety nine dollars and right now they're out of stock <laughs> that's an insane price tag but you gotta understand what it lets you do i mean it's letting you see in the dark um if you if you want to pause this stuff and like look at this while we're going down the list or click the link down in the description you can see all this stuff but yeah these are incredible <sighs> i'm into goof um geez did this whole video, do all the calculations, all the editing. I go back and watch it. And somehow the file where I talked about these britches, these pants, these pantalones, got corrupted. So, we're going to talk about it again. Um, I found these pants, like, spot on I found these pants. Um, like, if this, they had better have gotten rights to use this or else they're going to get sued. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at them. It's these pants right here. The ZAPT Tactical Molly Ripstop Combat Trousers Army Multicam ATAX LE Camo Pants for Men. That's right, we found them. <laughs> um, but these, yeah, these are exactly the pants. It's got the zipper right here. It's got the pockets on the on the calves and on the thighs. But the thing that really sold it for me was look right here. There's Molly on the pants. You don't see Molly on pants much. So that was what made me search for it. And then I found, right there, look at that left hip, Molly on the pants. Obviously, it's not a perfect match, but Molly on the pants, pockets on the calves, I think we found it, folks.
Alright, the last thing that I forgot, uh, and I have to talk about it because if I don't, someone will notice it and will comment about it. So let's deal with it now. The pouches for the radios. Pretty simple pouch with a clasp on the front, and we can find that right here at the ASMC, the Adventure Company. Uh, radio pouch, MFH, Molly Black. This one just, it matches pretty closely. Unfortunately, it is in Euros. Six ninety nine, so a rough estimate, rough little calculation there comes out to. Let me change that. Boop. Eight dollars and twenty one cents USD. I think we're done now. Whew. Okay. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It's been a lot of work for me trying to piece all this stuff together. However, I've also really enjoyed it. Um, I'll tell you what, right now I'm going to go ahead and throw in the cost of a trip to the barber shop to get the mutton chops put in. 25 bucks, sound fair? <laughs> Sounds good to me. I'll throw that in now. Um, and then after that, you should have the entire Captain Price loadout. See you guys. Bye.